Hi everybody, I'm Honda Pro Jason, and I'm standing in front of Honda's headquarters in Tokyo. How awesome is this? I was invited out to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the N360, which we're gonna get into in just a moment. And I'm gonna show you the inside. And I'm gonna show you some other things that no one else has seen. But before we get into that, let me tell you a little bit about this building. Mr. Honda was here when they were designing the building. There's a couple unique features of it. If you notice behind me, the building doesn't actually go out, it actually concaves in. And the building sits on the corner. And the reason why it concaves in, Mr. Honda, thinking about safety always, wanted to make sure that when people came around the corner, there would be no blind spot. You can see all the way to the other side of the traffic, which is really convenience. Also, another thing that's really cool is all of the balconies, as you guys can see in this photo, the balconies actually are set in instead of sticking out like most buildings. The reason for that is Japan has a lot of earthquakes. Sometimes with earthquakes, the buildings can shake and the glass can break. If the glass breaks, Mr. Honda wanted the glass to fall inside the balcony, not out into the streets. I mean, safety for everyone, that's safety for everyone. Now, let's check out these N360s. When it comes to the Honda N series, there's only one name that comes up in my book, and it's Mr. Tim Mings. What's up, dude? Hey, Jason, how are you? I'm doing awesome. How are you? Hey, I'm enjoying our time here in Tokyo. Dude, what it's an been, event. Yeah, we actually came together in Tokyo, which is super cool. Well, we came separately, at, uh, but anyway, we got here at the same time. <laughs> yes, we did. So this is the 360 Enjoy Club that is putting this on for us. The N360 Enjoy Rice Club. And yes. and. Tell me a little bit about the N360. We never had that in America, is that right? No N360 sold in America, only the N600, the, the stouter, more horsepower Brig Brother. So the race car version. The hot rod. <laughs> so a little bit about the N360. What, what was that? Was that, it was Honda's first what? That was Honda's first K car. Honda's first uh, mass marketed affordable four wheel car. Okay. And it came in how many versions when it first began? Two-door two -door sedan. That was it. That was it. So they came with hatchbacks, liftbacks, trunks? Well, they started with the N360, then there was an LN360, which was a little sedan delivery. I it saw had a that. Glass and a tail yeah. Glass, a little station wagon. That's very cool. You've restored N600s. Have you ever restored a 360 before? Never restored a 360. Oh, we got to get that on your list. Just none of them in America. Very, very few. Yeah, I guess that's true. And the uh, most popular N600 you restored? The most popular one I restored was the very first one made, serial number one, as is shown on your t-shirt. Serial number one's right here. So tell me a little bit about serial number one. That was the very first, now here's the story that someone once told me, which I think was you. Honda sent 50 N600s to the US to kind of test the market. They weren't really for sale, they were just to test the market, is that right? That's correct, for federal testing to see what they had to do to bring them up to snuff to sell in America and if it was feasible to sell a small car in a big country like that. And the very first one they ever brought over was serial number 001. Serial number one. And you owned that vehicle and restored it for Honda? Correct. And would you say that restoration is 100% like the way it came off the factory? That, that car, the restoration of the car is true concour, which it is, is the way that it left the factory. The headlights are the right headlights? Right, so Shiba headlights, a Nile switch gear, the, all the little under-engineered little pieces that didn't quite work right, the, that they learned didn't work right and changed them subsequently. The right tires? The right Dunlop Skyways. <laughs> so if people have more questions about the N600, how do they get a hold of you? Oh, you can find me at mercilessmings.com or on Instagram, at mercilessmings. There you go. If you guys follow me, you guys have to follow him. Now, let's go check out the cars inside. We're inside Honda's headquarters in Tokyo. And of course, they have an N360. This one here was brought from the collection hall on Twin Ring Motege. How cool is that? It's virtually perfect. Probably one of the cleanest ones we have here. But that's not all that's on display. Check this out. We also have an N1RS in this beautiful orange. Man, this thing is cool. We don't have N1s in the US, so whenever I see this, I just totally geek out. It's, such, it's just a cool little neat car. The whole N 
package is great with the end box and just neat. And the RS actually stands for road sailing. Honda's been using that all the way back from the Civic, I think is where it started. And then here they have another N1. This is the Select. This is a little bit more classier. The inside's got some wood trim. The outside's a little bit more subtle. These hubcaps though, check these things out. They're wheels with like an old school trim ring, kind of looks like a 50s with a little 50s center cap on it. It's kind of neat, it's different, you know? And of course, they have to have the Halo car in here. And of course they have the Honda NSX. You notice I didn't say Acura NSX? Because here in Japan, they don't even have Acura. It's all Honda. So there's a Honda badge. You can check out the badges right up front. Honda badge, brand new NSX. Twin turbocharged. Three hybrid engines. You guys know all about that. Here's a car you might not know all about. Have you ever seen an S660? Follow me, check this out. This is Honda's K car. It is a two-seater, it is a convertible, and it is super, super cool. Check this out. 660cc, turbocharged engine. Check out the inside. It's got like this beautiful camel, almost suede interior. Simply stunning. This is a car I really want Honda to bring to the US. And this is the second one I've seen. I saw one in Tennessee at the museum that you guys probably remember, but here. It's really comfortable inside. Easy to get in. And it's just, it's, it's just cool. That's all I gotta say. And there's a couple bikes. Let me show you the bikes real quick. I know you guys wanna see the bikes. You're always complaining I don't show enough bikes. So, Super Cub. This is Honda's best selling motorcycle. In fact, this is the world's best selling motorcycle. They just hit 100 million? 100 million bikes they sold. It's like, it's like crazy. So come on down, there are a couple other bikes here. You guys know I'm not a huge bike fanatic, so I don't know exactly what they are, but I know they're all new. I do know about coffee and juice. They have a coffee and juice bar right behind me with a little cafe where you can sit and chill and relax. And if you come back around here, this is the stage that they had all the presentations on today. So Tim Mings, did you guys saw earlier, spoke. Some of the designers for the 360 spoke. And some other important engineers that were uh, involved with the project also spoke. Last thing I wanna show you guys, follow me across the display here to the merchandise area where you can buy all your Honda swag I bought myself a couple shirts. I bought a little Asimo doll. What else did I buy? Oh, I bought a keychain and a pin. So these, these little postcards are totally free. I took a bunch of them. And if you put them together, it makes one big mural. So this is what I'm gonna do. For you guys watching this video right now, if you want these postcards, you can have them for free. All you have to do is comment in the comments below. How about just comment postcard? Put the word postcard, that'll be easy. Coming around here, you guys can see they have some nice little models here. Some little pins. And Honda swag, Honda swag, Honda swag. Mugen mugs, check this out. They got little baby, little Osimos. I bought one of these t-shirts, the little monkey, and they had Mugen bag, look at his bag. That's cool. And they come across, they got a bunch of t-shirts. The t-shirt I bought, I bought this one here, and I bought another one that I think was their last one. The Mugen power for ya. This is, I mean, they just have everything here. Bunch of Osmo more stickers, some classic old stuff, big awesome. Honda Jet fans, you want a Honda Jet puzzle? You guys gotta come to Tokyo to get it. And of course umbrellas and umbrellas and umbrellas. So guys, this is my first visit to Honda headquarters. It has been outstanding. Thanks everyone from the Honda 360 Club and the Enjoy Club, Tim Mings, my cameraman, and everyone else that came out and said hi, you guys are awesome. And as always guys, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.